I'm loving this air conditioning. It's hot outside. Guys, by the way, uh, I love Hartsfield. It's the biggest uh, album producer in Canada. Produces for Neil, for Junior, and uh, other big artists. So you may also ask your questions. Um. <laughs> you can use the mic. I'd like to know how um, you would be packaging uh, here in the Philippines. Well, how would you be positioning uh, her talents here? Well, uh, I think we have to go backwards to answer that question. Um, when I first met Elise, gosh, she was really young. And, uh, and, uh, and long story short, we, we kind of kept in touch. I always knew she would be a star. It was just a matter of time. And she ended up getting a record deal in the U.S. Um, and, uh, you know, not every record deal works out. And she ended up back in Canada. And I was a judge on, like, an American Idol type, type contest. And Elise sent me an email out of the blue and said, can I enter? And I said, absolutely, you know, we love talented people in the contest. And Elise entered, and it didn't take long for me to know she was going to win. And uh, I knew actually on the first day that she was probably going to win. And she won, and then we teamed up and in her first record, her first song, Insatiable. Um, and I signed her, and she was, she was very young at the time. And we did this song called Insatiable. And um, being a, a guy who makes music for North America, all of the labels were telling us, no, you, you'll never be able to break an Asian pop star in North America. It's not going to happen. And we didn't believe them. So we decided to uh, defy what the labels were saying. And uh, we put out Insatiable. And it went number one, which is, they were wrong. <laughs> so we felt really good about that. And within weeks, all of a sudden, Elise, Elise was doing a sellout stadiums with Rihanna. And it literally happened overnight. And it, it became very clear very fast that North America needed an Asian pop star. They needed a role model. And, you know, for me, I just felt proud to be a part of that because Elise was the very first Asian pop star in my country. And that felt really good. And I remember early on going to a mall with a radio station and, um, there was 8,000 people. This is like just weeks into her career. And there were 8,000 people lined up outside of the mall, around the corner. They waited for probably eight, nine hours to get her autograph. And it was so evident. You know, in, in my country, we have, we're very multicultural. We have a lot of people from a lot of different cultures. And, you know, growing up in the music business, I watched, I watched when there were no Latino stars. And then all of a sudden, J-Lo and Shakira, and now it's a common thing. Um, and to be a part of Elise, to be the very first to open the doors for Bruno Mars and all these other amazing, talented people, it just felt really good. So we never, you know, we're, we're with Universal in North America, we never felt like Universal would do the job properly for us here in the Philippines. And Elise was born in Manila, she's, she's Filipino 100%. And so we wanted a partner that knew that, that we felt good about and we would trust and, and, and knew would direct us and guide us for this market. Because you only have one chance at a first impression. So we wanted to do it right here. And so the only person that, that we would ever even agree to work with was Boss Vic. So we met Boss Vic, he came to Canada, we had dinner, and that night we knew, okay, now we're ready to launch in the Philippines properly. And working with Viva and MG and the whole team over here and, and, and Punch, and this is home to us. So, so everything's unfolding, like literally as I sit here in front of the cameras, everything's unfolding exactly how it's supposed to. And so we feel really good and really proud and, and, and just happy to be here in the Philippines. Like this is such an amazing emerging market. 
walking through the malls and seeing CD stores, like, there's no better place in the world for music than this country right here. You know, that, everywhere you go, you watch you watch the shows on ABS, CBN, primetime TV, it's singing and dancing. What other country has that? We don't have it in our country. The U.S. doesn't have it in their country. It's here. And so, for us, you know, this is the place we want to be. So we're, we're really excited to, to, you know, roll out Elise here with Viva. Do you feel that um, starting her off or, you know, positioning her as a pop, into pop, is her best um, area? Or do you plan to spin her from not the kind of music? Well, it, once you hear around three, you'll hear that there's a bunch of everything on there. Like, in North America, Elise has had some huge ballads, a lot of huge ballads. It's just, um, you know, uh, it's always nice to, to give the calm before the storm, which is why we started with a pop record. Um, you know, when you hear the good and goodbye, you'll you'll understand that there's a lot of depth to Elise. Not just as an artist, but as a writer and as a person. There's a lot of depth to her. So, so the album is 12 tracks of a roller coaster. Let's take a minute journey. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 But but pop, yes, pop R&B, soul. You know, that's really what we both love making. So. so it's actually quite funny working with Elise in the studio because we think exactly alike musically. Like the songs that we love, the sounds that we love are, are identical. So there's never. I kind of wish we disagreed a little bit on music because it's never very, hard to write with together because we agree on the type of music that we like. <laughs> and and I can tell you, I've worked with a lot of superstars and I've been fortunate to have a lot of hits with a bunch of people. There's no art artist that I would rather work with than anyone else. We have another one? Oh, okay. <laughs> so how, how would, uh, I'd just like to know what are your future plans in terms of growth? I mean, uh, as your albums come along, are you going to go into a certain niche, like the old version types? Are you going to romantic? Are you going to start try different you know, how to express your voice in you know, different formats. The, the beauty of, of creativity is it happens at the moment. So we never pre-plan what album four is going to sound like. I can tell you that, you know, uh, after her, or during her first album, our biggest music channel, you know, basically called us and gave her her own TV series. Then all of a sudden she landed her own Sony Pictures feature film uh, in the United States. So, you know, we, we're open, you know, we just love the opportunity, and so we're very open, like, will she do Gershwin type? Never say never, she's still really young right now, but, you know, Celine Dion's in Vegas, you know, so, <laughs> you never know what the, you know, where the path will take us, but we're, we're very open and, again, just appreciative of the opportunities. Christmas album, be and the She list. has a Christmas date oh, already. Yeah, yeah, we had a monster Christmas date. Yeah, so. well, yeah. Time, yeah. So, she, th that's the beauty of Elise. Pretty much everything she puts out becomes a massive hit for us. So, you know, it's a great vehicle to be a part of. For sure. Great news. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you.